Right, Sean K.E. K.E. Sean K.E. Bridgerton Season 3 Are you excited? You look excited um, Official trailer Me Next part. month First part I know We're going to have to fly through Queen Charlotte Queen Charlotte, yeah um, Are you excited? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's nothing really to say other than we haven't finished Queen Charlotte yet, but we are going to finish it before we watch this. Yeah, especially if it ties in like people saying it does. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's watch, I suppose. Do it! I'm more excited for this than I've been for most trailers we've watched. Yeah. Play it now. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. Hmm. At last, London's fashionable set has made its return. And it seems that our bon ton is moving with the changing tide. So too oh. is oh, this author. I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? Is that her brother? Colin? Oh, brother, oh no. under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> oh, well, it's good to see you. Is it? Something wrong? Seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, the notice is very slight. If a husband is what you seek, let me help you. Mm. Are we all friends? Friends. I should not oh. see your skills as they are first. How delightful to see you all. The splendid weather we are having. I would not be angry if I'm to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? What this author knows to be true is that diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. Lord Debling. He is eager to take a wife this season. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. You have done very well, Penelope. What more could you want? Mother, do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It is rare, but you must follow your heart. <laughs> what is the primary force that guides us along our paths? Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? What? <laughs> oh, good lord. <sighs> We're going to be stressed this season, aren't we? So, someone put in a comment on... Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, someone put a comment in, and apparently Colin is the thirstiest of the... Of the is that mm. the right word? Thirstiest? I don't know if I used that word right. What does that word mean? Does he drink loads of champagne? There was champagne being bought. I don't, I don't know if that's quite what... Thirst. I know. I know. Like people say, thirst traps. Like a photo is a thirst trap. It's getting other people to like thirst over them. Don't even know if I'm using it right. I don't really use that word. I thought thirst was like when people. He's like he's like the one that most people are like swooning over. Right. Right. We would say swoon. Right. Okay. Is he Francesca? Where? Ugh. It's it's difficult because it's a new actress, so it's yeah. But she, yeah, she is there, so it seems like obviously she's. This is her first season, isn't it? Right. So how old is she? Sixteen. Eighteen, I think. I don't know. Back I in these days. Believe. I don't know. I think that it's it's this is like a. You know, it's not going to be entirely. Accurate, this her. Is it? This is Francesca. Yeah, this is Francesca. Okay, she's been presented before Her Majesty. Mhm. Mm he looks impressed. Uh huh. She'll be the new diamond. What on earth is that? 
What is that? Looks a bit like a cloud. Looks like it's made of panda. Grief. <laughs> Anthony and Kate are all happy and whatnot. I try and sound a bit more happy. Okay. Anthony and Kate are the happy the Remember the payoff that we didn't get from season two. Remember on this channel I'm the pessimistic one. I know but when you think about it though, we didn't get in season two we didn't get Daphne and Hastings been all lovey, did we did we? Oh we got that for the majority of season one. I know, but they had they had the issues and then the second season they were meant to come in and be like, Oh, you know, look how amazing we are and then look how like annoying Anthony and Kate be and this one we get to have Anthony and Kate being all lovely and we get to have Colin and Penelope being all annoying. It's going to take the edge off, Sean. That does sound like the recipe for the majority. Of... <sighs> Why is she friends with her now? Look, she's got a hand warmer. That's a fan. Oh, you mean her? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you were talking about Cressida. Sorry. Do you think I don't know what a fan is? I mean... What possible... How could that be confused for a hand warmer? I don't know, I just, I just thought you got it wrong. It doesn't warm your hands. It doesn't warm any part of you if you use it. How could I get that confused? I love how you're getting more passionate over that than anything oh, else that you're saying. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, she's not, she's just flat out not friends with Penelope anymore, is she? Well, it seems like it. About, remember at the end of the last season. And again, it's a bit hypocritical. That was a weird one because I completely understand... Eloise's standpoint. I completely get she's like, okay, you know, you, you've said all this horrible stuff, not only about my family, but your own family and you're a and hypocrite. Everyone. You're yeah. a hypocrite, you know, you say all this stuff, but, you, but you're just like, you know, using everyone else to get your fortune. But then also, Penelope exposed Eloise to save her from the Queen. Yeah, But there was, there's also so, the element of Eloise constantly chastises her family. She constantly chastises everyone else for, mm -hmm. for this the, you know, how harsh society is to women and whatnot. You know, rightfully so, but obviously in the, in this time it wouldn't have made much difference. And then she's not happy that Penelope is doing the same thing, except on a bigger scale, and making money from it. Mm. Like I would understand the initial sort of, you know, the, there's the there's the part where she she never told us she was uh, feather uh, whistle down, and there's the part that, you know. She said nasty things about her family. Yeah. Like, on occasion. And it's like, okay, I get that, I suppose. Fair enough. But surely, once you get past that, it's kind of like, well... She, th Pe yeah. she, Penelope is doing what she wanted to do. Maybe it's an element of jealousy as well. I I think I think they'll overcome it. I think it'll weasel. Overcome it. Yeah, I don't think it'll last, but it's... it's this is one of them yeah. things that people will not like me for, you know, like I said with Kate in the mm. being on season one. I just don't like things like that. And I get it I get it feeds this, this sort of teenage drama element of it. Yeah. You know, I'm not friends with you, you're not friends with me because of that, blah, blah, and all that stuff. But it's ugh, it is, it's just hypocritical. But it's got obviously gonna add to the story, isn't it? Because Eloise is probably gonna be actively trying to stop Colin and Penelope being together. Yeah, Colin. Isn't she? And and I imagine, um, you know, that that might end up being what get like um, makes them make up is the fact that they're kind of forced to be family members. Yeah, sisters. Maybe that. Colin helps her realise that. Problem is, Penelope's too nice. But is she gonna be in this one though? She told Colin off. Yeah. Well, it seems like the sort of the first part of the series is gonna be about Penelope sort of fumbling mm. to find a. A suitor. I am. Is that them again? Yeah, it looks like it. It's interesting though because isn't Cressida in the same boat as Penelope in terms of she would be considered a spinster by now? Because yeah. she's not. She's not got a husband either. No, she's not taken to marriage. Looks like she's been. She's got married though. Was she not the one that got married? No, it was the other sister that did. Oh shit! If she was the one who was, her mother was trying to pawn her off with her cousin or something. Yeah. She? Either she's married already or she's a suitor. He's she's a feeding, suitor. feeding a man grapes. That's the most romantic of things. <laughs> Anyone knows that? Yeah, it seems like the first sort of section of, of this season is mm. going to be um, yeah. her sort of fumbling to find a husband. And then, then, and then she's going to blossom. Yeah, she's going to come out of her shell. Do you know what the thing is with handkerchiefs? Is that not a glove? A glove. doesn't matter. Do you know what the thing is? Do you know what it is? What do you mean? 
Like why? Why they do it? To get them to kneel. No. I don't know. So that that was the old way that you would let someone know that you were caught and you'd drop a glove. Oh. And sometimes you might, if sort of there was someone you liked coming close, you would drop it on purpose, like a. Like right. A, I know Daphne did it in the first season. Yeah. She, I just way. thought it was because she was just like getting them to. No, that that way. Well, it it does kind of because it essentially gives them the signal that you want them to approach you. That's what that's mm. what it used to be, which is where like people sometimes get confused. You know how the sort of traditional thing is for a man to approach a woman. People don't seem to realize or even remember that it used to be the woman that signaled the man. Mm. Like the woman made the first move. Yeah. But that was back in, uh, you know, high society. Um. But is that Colin Laura? Is that um? Oh, what was his name? What this his name was? Her other suit her. Penelope's. Oh, the blonde kid. Yeah. Looks a bit like Han Solo there. You know, the brown, sort of blue shirt. Good for him. Is he calling this lady? Oh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? Or is he calling the lady, or is he just trying to better? That's what they. That's the term. It's the term of the time. Hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. It's good for them. It's obviously a party. Who do, they, who do you think's arriving in the balloon? The queen. No, she couldn't. She wouldn't be in the balloon. She wouldn't be able to fit her hair in. <laughs> Maybe that is her hair. What's this? What's this? I, I don't. I don't know. Weird. Weird. What's that? Remember that logo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. 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 Anyway, I thought it was going to be clever there, but no, never mind. <laughs> oh, they've got the ladies approaching them. Look at how scared Benedict looks. Because <laughs> <laughs> Benedict's something of a... Uh, what do you call it? A rake, isn't he? Not in the same way that Hastings was a rake, but he, he doesn't mind sleeping around. Yeah, he had a, he had a relationship with the model of in the um, art academy, didn't he? Yeah. Who was married. Was she married? She's mm. going out with the other artists, wasn't she? And she, Andy went to like a, um, an orgy, didn't he, in the first season? Yeah, because that's all artists did back in those days. So That was them getting inspired. Mm. Now people just take drugs it's and difficult. drink coffee. For me, Benedict is just like the funniest. Yeah. It was also Benedict. Always seemed like the brother that everyone could go and talk to. Mm. Like Eloise, when she was struggling, she spoke to Benedict. Yeah. When Anthony was struggling, he spoke to Benedict. When Colin was struggling, he spoke to mm. Benedict. Benedict, because he's he's not like Anthony, so he's not like. No, he's not the firstborn. He's not the firstborn, so he's not the one that needs to take over. But he's kind of like he's still the oldest after Anthony, isn't he? So it makes sense. Yeah, technically, he's the heir. Well, not if Anthony and Kate have children. Well, they haven't had children. Makes him the heir. We don't know. He may. Have, hey, he's the heir. And heaven help them if they have a woman. A woman. If they have a girl. <laughs> a girl. Mm. Actually, I don't know how, what inheritance would be back then. Would the girl get all the, the estates? Or would it, it, wouldn't, it, would, it would be a man, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, the Featheringtons, it went to the cousin, didn't it? Yeah, so it, it goes none to None of the daughters got it, so... goes to the next male relative. Uh, I assume relative. so, yeah. Yeah, thought so. Kate and they're not going to all happy. Yeah. What's her name again? Francesca. Francesca. I'm going to have to remember that. Because people were right. So I completely got it. Because I thought the next daughter down from Eloise was Hyacinth, but it's Francesca. Mm. They go in alphabetical order, don't they? Yeah, I know, but sometimes I have stupid moments. <laughs> let me have... Let me... So I'm I, wonder, not, I wonder if she's going to be the diamond this season. I'm always so intelligent, you know. Um, eh, Maybe. It doesn't seem like anyone else is. Mm. Apparently, someone else commented saying they did Edwina Day and she's not going to be in the series again. I don't know. I know it hinted at maybe Edwina and the um the prince. Yeah. In so the first season being together. Run off to Deutschland or wherever he was from. I, I can't remember where Sweden. he was from. Sweden. Sweden have does Sweden have princes? I, I don't know. Not so, no. It feels like they would select their <coughs> leaders by whoever the strongest is. 
Yeah, this has always kind of been Penelope's problem, isn't it? And it's not necessarily a problem. It's like... Bless her. She, she prefers to sort of... Stand in the background. Yeah. Well, obviously, if you're going to attract suitors, you have to be mm. flamboyant and catch yeah. everyone's attention. It's like even her outfit is, is different to, like compared to the other girls, isn't it? Yeah. She's not quite... Um, the word you're searching for that isn't very nice is plain. It's plain, isn't it? I mean, I really like the dress, but it is it is more plain compared, compared to the others. Compared to the others, yeah. Oh, they're laughing at her. Just punch them. Yeah. I think Colin might get into a few scraps. Look how rakish he looks. He's wearing a trench coat. Oh, my goodness. So is Colin the Bridget that everyone fancies? I didn't know that. I don't know because I've not read the books, but if, if people no, I mean, saying I mean, say he's the thirstiest or if you've just worded that wrong. No, someone... They either said he's the thirstiest or he's... He's the one that people thirst over the most. He, something like that, yeah. So he's he's the one that people seem to be most attracted to. Right, okay. Fair enough. Look, there's definitely some friction in that handshake. He knows it, look. Look at his face. She knows it. Oh, bless her. Yeah, so it's going to be awkward, isn't it? Because it's going to be the first yeah, part she's is... Struggle so much. She's struggling to find a suitor. Second part is her coming out of her shell, looking for husbands that aren't Colin, while also her and Colin fight her fa fight their feelings for each other. Yeah. But also, there's going to be part of it where Colin's trying to figure out what his feelings are. There'll be a moment where um, Violet figures it out and has to have a sit down with Colin and tell him, you know. Violet. We've been over this so many times. His mother. Oh, Lady Bridget. <laughs> well, use a proper title, please. Kate is now Lady Bridget. Oh, that's right. She's Violet Bridgerton. She's no, not. She's the Widow Bridgerton. That's what, that's what she is. That's her new name. Yep. No, oh, bless her. I am not going to enjoy that. No. Look at what he's wearing, for goodness sake. Looks a bit like a young Henry Cavill. Good for him. I think he could be Superman, you know. No? Beefed up a bit, got really, 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 really big. Oh, look at the way we look at each other. Oh. My heart's not going to be able to handle this season. No, see, I think there's a change. There's a certain point, like the way he's looking at her there is different to when he was looking at her when he was shaking her hand. Mm. There, it seems like, well, not there, but you know what I mean. Wait, let me find the picture. Like there, it's kind of like, is there feelings here? Mm. Whereas that bit where he's talking to her, that bit's like he's talking to a friend. Mm. This is earlier on. Yeah, I think it's going to be that internal struggle that he, he talks to uh, the, uh, the widow of Bridgerton about, you know, does he think that the best way to be with someone is if there's a foundation of friendship there first? Mm. Because that some lads do have that kind of issue. They don't like going out with friends. Mm. One of my best friends was... Me and, all of our, me and all of our group were saying that he should go out with this last, but he couldn't go out with that because they were best friends. He just he couldn't bring himself to do it, despite everyone in the universe being like, the pair of you just go out with each other. He'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You know? We lads are very queer creatures, you know? So what's... It'd be interesting, wouldn't it, if... Was Eloise the diamond? She wasn't, was she? No, Edwina was the diamond. Edwina was the diamond, that's right. So does that mean Eloise is an out courting as well? Well, this is our second season. Searching for suitors. Do you think she would be? Well, I don't think... Like, there, there's a look of sort of... There might be feelings mm. here. Because look, they're touching skin. What are they touching? Are they touching? I think they might be. Yeah, his hand wasn't is it, on Wasn't it like skin, a skin touch, like... <laughs> you know. Weird, then. Because the women always wore gloves, didn't they? Ah, oh, yeah, it was forward. Mm. You weren't allowed to touch a woman's skin. Not unless you were dancing. Just like you couldn't look at a woman's ankles. Not allowed. I thought that was a ring. No. Oh, there's a candle in it. Oh, the symbolism. Yeah. There's definitely connotations there. <laughs> Should we discuss them? He finally, he finally realises that he does love mm. Penelope. But at this point, you know, she's probably in bed pondering about her love for Colin. And then she realises Colin doesn't love her. Despite mm. the fact that at the same time, Colin is realising that he does love her. No, because I see, I think that's a Penelope from a different time. What do you think this is after? I think this is after because her hair looks like what 
um, it looked like Joe at the beginning, where we right. said it was early days. Yeah, hair. Yeah. That's very like much old Penelope and how she would have her hair. It seems like maybe that's her like light bulb moment in itself of her going, okay, I need to change. I need to stop being like the the wallflower. I need to become mm -hmm. this. She gets a Cinderella moment though. Good for her. Look, everyone. So mother, mother looks like she's not kind of, you know. She's like, what on earth's going on? Good. There's one of the good conspiring shrews. <laughs> okay, so the difference is just that she wears her hair long. Am I missing something with her hair? Her hair doesn't look that different. Her hair looks more loose. Right, isn't it? Right. She kind of always had like really tight curls, and it maybe maybe that in itself is symbolism. She's letting her hair down, Sean. Okay. That doesn't. That's not a good thing. Back then, it's not good to let your hair down if you're a woman. In the sort of, you know, metaphorical sense. Men don't want women who are loose and crazy. They want. Well, no, I don't mean she's like. Do you want sturdy homekeepers? That's what. That's what the point of. of the but song. it's not all down. It's half up. You said she was wearing it loose. Down. I don't understand hairs. It's, it's loose in terms of like the curls are loose. Is what I meant. Right. It's not because before she's. Remember when she used to have like the really tight curls on top of her head? Yeah. Do you mean maybe it's, she's? It's, her hair's just she's less rigid. Maybe. Is that what you were looking for? Maybe. Uh, she's less uptight about sort of. Maybe she's calmer. What was that? I got a message on something. Um, she's a bit calmer, maybe. A bit calmer, maybe she's um, less uptight. Yeah, she's not tunnel visioned on mm. Colin. She's searching new avenues. Good for her as well. If the boy takes that long, move on. And look, this guy's hair is not all crazy. He doesn't look like a rake. Looks like a very upstanding gentleman. Look, he's wearing an ascot as well. Oh, she's finally been noticed by her mother. Yeah. It's nice, but it's also sad that that's what it took for her to acknowledge think, Penelope, really. Do you think... Surely the question of money's going to come up, isn't it? Well, it seemed like they're better off. Because the... Um, what was the plan at the end of the last season, do you remember? With the cousin... She basically it, told him that you needed to leave. Yeah. And they were gonna. Wasn't it that she was gonna tell people that he made off with all of the money, but actually she was gonna keep it. Right. Yeah. And that he abandoned them with all the money, but because it, it just it seems like they're a lot better off than. Right, but in that, just to sort of rebuttal that, she never seemed all that interested in buying Penelope dresses. I know, but Penelope has her own money, doesn't she? That's what I mean. Is is the question of money not gonna come up? Like, how is she funding this? I don't, well, maybe people might start finding out. Would our mother... I don't think... Mother I don't think our mother would be impressed if she found out she was Lady Whistle down. But also, maybe she would be, because... She's a self-made woman. Mm. She don't need no man. She's interesting, because she does care about her children, we know that. Mm -hmm. But she's still... Of the three, she doesn't care that much yeah. about Penelope. Compared and she's still very morally grey. What are the other two called? Um... Prudence. And Fenella or something like that. Philippa? Is it Philippa? Something like that. Something Cinderella -y. Yeah, I remember I remember Prudence because she was like very Prudence. I think she was um Yeah. But key she, in the second season. The point we're making is that she cares about Penelope the least out of the three. Mm. Oh, oh, see? Smiling Look at her hair. No, oh, see. Got curls in it there. Yeah, but not as tight as the ones she had in the I first think, season. I think your hair analogy doesn't hold water. Not as tight as the first season. Do you remember when it was like really like, it was like coils? Talking. Calm down. Don't talk to me about hair. Calm down. Jeez. Didn't mean to insult your connotation so badly. <laughs> um, what about the drinking? Thing is though, with it's Bridget. Like misty lemonade. Yeah. Hmm? With Bridget, the um, hairstylists and like the makeup department always talk, and even the costume um 
designers always talk about how important even just minute details about the hair, makeup and the costumes are to the characters in the story. So analysing things like the hair is actually... Oh, so my connotations could be correct. But it could be, yeah, because they talk about... It's, it's like, it's a part of the transformation, isn't it? It's a part of... Mm. Um, her like development as a character, and they, they take a lot of time. And um, shows I know a lot about Bridget as well. People seemed impressed the last time we were watching Bridget and stuff. Um, yeah, Collins. Look, he's still rakish. Mm. How much of his necks on display? Women not allowed to have necks on no. display. No. Mm. Yeah. Look, his necks nearly almost covered. Mm. That ascot's tied right the way up. Good for him. I don't know what we're gonna think of him. Are we gonna like him and feel bad for him, or are we gonna are we gonna discover something about him that maybe he's not the, Do you know the I think, honourable gentleman? I think he's gonna be a very nice young man. Mm. He's gonna be a very nice young man. Problem is, it's not Colin. I think even after mm. our transformation, even after everything she does, yeah, it's Colin. He, do you think he's gonna just be like the picture perfect ideal gentleman yeah. of the time? And but anyone else, he would be fine. Yeah, it's just Penelope. It's just Colin. Yeah. He might end up marrying um, Prunella or whatever she's called, Prudence. It seems like Prudence is already with someone. I think she's Corton. Corton. Mm. If it was my guess, I would say she's Corton. Maybe. Because there might also be some infamy around her because, as you said, she, she wasn't. Was she engaged to her cousin? She was engaged, yeah. She was engaged to her cousin, then her cousin nicks off with all the money, apparently. Supposedly, yeah. I guess in a way, though, that would make her seem like a victim, wouldn't it? He took advantage of her, as, as her mother made it seem. Um, and then he's ran off and left her. Mm, so maybe knows? maybe she would get a lot of sympathy. Who knows? There's the other conspiring shrew. Good to see her back. Oh, they're laughing and having yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh. It reminds me a bit of the scene, um, do you know, with um, Daphne and Hastings when he's he's talking about the prince and how he says the same things to all the women and Daphne laughs and you know mm -hmm. it's like it's yeah. like a genuine moment between them I feel that's what this feels like yeah I bet this season doesn't end the way people are expecting it to end I don't think they'll end up together shut your mouth I think they will <laughs> they have to no I think they will there'll be something that tears them apart no no shut up we've had two full seasons now of two star-crossed lovers getting together. Do you think my heart could take? Do you think your heart could take? Do you think take? my heart? I was going to say. I don't think anyone's heart could take. It. They are together That's by the, the end of the season. They're That's hand, the point. They're, they're getting together. I think that'll be the plot twist. No. It's <gasps> not happening. Maybe Colin finds out she's whistled on. And they fall off forever and he moves to the Columbias or whatever. What, what, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Okay, event, I'm just, you know, we're here talking about a trailer here. Two seasons we've had of two star-crossed lovers meeting, hating each other, then loving each other, then being living happily ever after. I don't think every single season is going to be like that. I think it will. And at the end of every happen. season, it's had the big moment, hasn't it? Like at the end of the first season, it was revealing that she was whistled down. Second season, it was Eloise figuring out she was whistled down. In this one, I think it'll go one step further, and either everyone figures out it's she's whistled down, or he figures out she's whistled down and then moves away because he can't bear it can't bear all the horrible things that he said don't get me wrong I think in a later season he'll return and it'll be like one of those moments where she's on her own and she's all upset and all you'll hear is Penelope you know like sort of in a musky voice because he's been away to my Sandy for a long time and then he um, and she turns around and he's standing there in the doorway and they look at each other and then they move to each other and then it cuts to black no See, I could write this stuff. No, that's not happening. No? No. They're not allowed to do that. <laughs> do you know why you said that? Because you can totally see it happening, no, can't you? I can't. You can. It, yes, you can. Stop putting the vibes out in the universe. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Okay, it's made. What do you want me to do? I can't. I'm just guessing. If they don't end up together at the end Imagine. of the season, I'm going to like. I'm, Imagine if I'm right. Um, murder? <laughs> murder is what will happen. <laughs> Murder of who? Everyone. Yeah, Everyone look, that was involved. See involved. his neck's covered there. Mm. He's a bit more respectable there. Mm. Obviously when it's not, when it was on shore earlier on, it was a bit of a downturn. So this must be the Featherington house, is it? There's Lady Featherington. Oh, they're talking and laughing about a book. Mm. 
Maybe she's there. Uh, impressing them with her literacy skills. Is it the hairy chest that people are digging? I don't know. That seems to be... But yes, but no. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for narrowing that down for me. That seems to be the thing that a lot of people like, is hairy chests. Mm. Not so hairy that it's scary. Not scary hairy, <laughs> but enough hair that it's noticeable. And not ginger. People don't like ginger hair chests for some reason. I don't notice that. Poor people with ginger I know. chest hair. I know. Why would you say that? So because I've no that's just what I've noticed in my travels. You have a ginger beard. No, I do not. A bit of ginger in there. No, there's not. Are you speaking on personal feelings here? What was the... Who was it that was playing his dad again? Was it Josh Hartnett? I can't remember. No, it couldn't have been Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett's American. <laughs> Maybe there's some internal yes, conflict. Sir. Trying to live up to that standard. <sighs> Who's he? he? He is someone... He is not the same person in the next scene. That looks like Violet. Okay. Mm. Maybe there's... Oh, is he interested in the widow of Bridget? He and that's the, is the gentleman, boxer. the gentleman club owner. Yeah. Hopefully, all is going well for him because Colin invested in his thing, didn't he? Did he invest, or was it that he invited I all think his he friends? Helped him out, yeah. Invited all his friends over, didn't he? Don't know if he quite invested. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look. Me not cute. See, neck on display. This might be one of those moments where he sort of rushes to a house. You know, to tell her how he feels. I bet you he's just walking up and he's got his hairy chest out. He's walking up, he's just throwing on. He hasn't even put an ascot on. Right, he's throwing it on. Jumps out of bed, gets on a horse. Rides and rides and rides and rides. You don't realise they live across the road from each other? Oh well, yeah, but you've got to have a bit of drama in that. So he's going to ride from if he's gonna, his house to her If he's going to ride to tell her that he loves her, he has to have a bit of drama in that. What's the point? Okay, so he's going to do a lap of the... Of the okay, I'm just trying he'll to He'll do a lap of the ton so the horse is okay. knackered. He'll jump off and he'll run to the house to tell her. You know, he'll do like this lot of last stretch and he'll run, right? His coat will probably be flapping. And he'll he'll arrive and you'll see that blonde haired git there and he'll be like, <gasps> I'm too late. Yeah. But in reality, she's. She's telling him that she can't do it, she can't marry him. And then he turns. He turns because he doesn't know what they're saying, obviously, he's not within earshot. So he turns, his coat's still flapping, and he sort of walks off. He walks off back towards his horse, and then it cuts to Penelope, right? I just I, obviously she sends the guy away. She says, she can't, she can't, I can't marry you. You know, and he sends him away. And she turns, and she sees a silhouette. It's Colin walking away. Who would have thought a few years ago this would be me? I know. I'm sitting here You're pitching really ideas. I like that idea better than the, than the, the first one, because they can make up and uh, explore. I'll still make up for my first one. Just that, further, that'll further take down the line. Multiple seasons. I don't want that. I want it now. Well, it's a <laughs> Give it to me now. <laughs> it's a multiple series storyline. You pillock. No, I, I won't allow it. There's got to be some long-term storytelling. <sighs> yeah, see, see. This has been long-term. It, I can't even talk now. This has been long-term storytelling. It's because my, my story because, ideas is upsetting. Isn't because it? yes, not the second one, but because <laughs> the, this has been three seasons. Look, so this trailer is tricking you here. It's but been three seasons. This trailer's tricking you by making you think he's getting there and he's looking at her and she's looking at him and it's going to be like one of those they see each other and run to each other moments. But she, that does not look like sort of... Oh, well, it might be party wear, actually. Um, Is it? Yeah, party wear. But no, it's actually exactly what I said. He arrives after giving his horse three laps. Then, you know, cord flapping. And... Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong. Because she's wearing what she was wearing. No, I was wrong. That's disappointing, isn't it? I like my idea better. It could be something similar. I still think my first idea was going to happen. No. I do. No, not allowed. I think that'll be the end. That'll be the end of this series. Actually, you know, it might be the end of the first part. And then the second part addresses uh, him coming back. No. Just no. It's not allowed. <laughs> it's not allowed. Yeah. You really don't like that idea, do you? No. Can't just spring like something like that on me. 
Uh, what? Theor We're theorizing this is what we do in trailer reactions? This is what our trailer reactions are? I know. But respectfully, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. And if it does, I'll be very upset. If it does, you're going to get the biggest I told you so ever. <laughs> The thing is, what's even more annoying is that there's people who read the books who know what's going to happen. And they'll be laughing at us. Yeah, we're probably nowhere near. Although I am usually quite good at guessing mm. things that happen in series. Mm. I do think Colin might find out, though, that she's going to be whistled down. Mm. Makes sense. Because if they do end up together, it makes sense that he would know. Surely she wouldn't keep that yeah, from she him. She can't keep that facade up if she gets married. Um, Just how is he going to take it? Maybe all the Bridgetons will find out because if Colin does, P Eloise already knows. Maybe that's how it. Maybe that's how it happens. Maybe Penelope doesn't tell him. Maybe Eloise does. Maybe that bit there, where they were together, is him after finding out that she's whistled down. Mm. Be a bit dramatic, wouldn't it? It's just we've seen from the first season with Marina Thompson that Colin is a, like he seems to be the more understanding. One of the more understanding characters, like Forg forgiven as well. Yeah, because you didn't know he told Marina that had she just told him, he would have actually helped her. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe maybe it won't be that big of a deal. A bit different though, isn't it? Maybe, uh, a bit different. Mate, I don't know. You know, Marina was keeping it out because, you know, she genuinely was worried and she didn't know him from someone else and all that stuff. Supposedly his best friend. Outside of his family. Mm. One of his best friends that he's known for years, and especially if they add the layer on that he finally sta is starting to realise that he loves her. And then he finds it out when finds it's out that she's been saying all these horrible things about them. There are two things that I want from this season. There are two things. <laughs> oh dear. It's for Penelope and for Eloise to make up and be friends and be happy, and it's for Colin and Penelope to end up together. Not your idea, but for them to end up together. If it doesn't happen, depression. And I can't be depressed because we're about to go into summer. <laughs> so true. This needs it. That's what needs to happen. I don't like this. It was good when it was you reacted and I had already seen it so I knew it was going to happen and I was just like reliving it. This is going to be so stressful. I forgot how stressful Bridgerton is. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Could you not tell how stressful it was by when I was watching it? Yeah. For like, like, I found that humorous though because... However many episodes, you getting to laugh at us, <laughs> they've all getting to laugh at us. This might be all that I'm remembered for, is biting my nails to a chub, <laughs> watching Bridgerton. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd get so stressed over Bridgerton when we first started watching it? No. Apparently there's films as well. Is there? Not of Bridgerton, but of this sort of stuff. Hmm. No idea. Well, well, you know the ones I mean. There's, you know, like, set in this kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Pride and Prejudice and... Yeah. My mum and Nicole cetera, always talked about... Mum and Nicole always talk about Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, we will be watching them. I've never seen it. Uh, you will be. They always talk about a shirt scene. There's a shirt scene, mm. apparently, with Colin Firth. Yeah. National Treasure. Yeah. Is that you thirsting over <laughs> Colin Firth? <laughs> anyway, that was us reacting to season three of... Uh, the season three trailer for Bridgerton. Um, let us know... Uh, what you think is going to happen? Let you know. Let me know what you thought of my ideas, um, because I thought my ideas were good. They were um, good ideas, but I would be so annoyed if that actually happened. Oh, so would I. But it's still an idea. Mm, um, it's a good idea. I was expecting you to get that much into the I was storytelling. I know, but you would really just like you may as well just written a book. I only wrote two scenes. I know, but you may as well have just written a book. That's how into it you are. I was very impressed. I'm trying to compliment you. Take oh, it. Thank you. Um, yeah, let us know what you think. If you've read the books or you know what's going to happen or you're some kind of inside person, don't spoil it for us because, mm. you know, you've seen what this stress is doing to Kate and this is just my theorising. <laughs> um, so it will be... Uh, yeah. Well, except some, some playful teasing, maybe. Some, you know, ooh, this... Some mocking. 
not mock it. No, I don't mean teasing in terms of like, oh, ha, ha, ha. I mean teasing, like, teasing of what could happen. Yeah, fake Maybe, spoilers. You know. Yeah. Just make fun. Um, Be creative. Yeah, then... I suppose you could also comment and let us know some other films and series that are like this one or set in the same time or apparently Pride and Prejudice everyone loves. Mm. Um, it's a toss up between whether we watch a series or a movie. Or both. But then it's like you've already you don't know the story, so is it worth watching both? Which one is it that everyone loves the most? I don't really know. The one with Colin Firth is the one that Mammon and Nicole. Colin Firth is the um that's the the series. Right. The one with Kieran Knightley is the film. Series, how many episodes? I don't know. I don't think it's that long. It's not like, it's not like as long as this. I don't think. Huh. We well, usually we usually watch it in one sitting. Huh. So maybe we watch that at some point. But for now, we've got to we're going to power through Queen Charlotte if we're going to be ready for this. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, do some commenting and like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? I don't even know what to say. What do I say? You say something. I was going to do a Julie Andrews impression, but I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I, was just, I was going to say something like, what is it she says at the end of the letters? Yours faithfully. I don't know if it's quite yours faithfully. I know she says dear, dearest she says, gentle reader at the beginning. Yeah, she says dearest gentle reader, but I was going to say that, but that wouldn't have made sense for me to say it here because this is not the beginning, this is the end. So you could just go. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, gentlest reader. That is not. I've never claimed to be good at Julie Andrews. I could do Sean Connery, but that's it. And I don't think Sean Connery would do very well as Whistledown. Anyway, thank you for watching. Dear gentle reader. You put so much effort at the first bit that it felt like you just deteriorated. Yeah, because my voice can't so do it's it. It's like you just realised halfway through that you couldn't do Damn it. it. My voice can't do it. <laughs> to know